on my last road trip through the deserts of the southwest, I was able to film and photograph some incredible scenery, as well as the elusive chuckwalla. The chuckwalla is a flat, wide lizard with loose skin folds on the side of its head and body. The one I encountered, the common chuckwalla found on the South Mountain in Phoenix, has a remarkable orange tail, much different than the coloration found in different areas. But today's adventure is about a species that is absolutely essential for the survival of the Sonoran inhabitants. However, its appearance was so misleading that I didn't even recognize I was walking amongst some of its grandest elders while searching for this rock-hugging lizard. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Mallory and welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday. Today I want to share with you some fascinating facts about the far from boring saguaro cactus. But in case you're still a little bit sleepy, let's shake those pins and needles with this curious conservationist quiz. When a saguaro cactus fruit ripens, it means what is on its way? A, a monsoon, B, a drought, or C, a sandstorm? If you guessed A, monsoon, then you got it. This is when you can witness the spectacular desert sight of the Virga which is when trailing vaporous streams of rain hang from a thunderhead with frayed ends drying in the layer of hot air over the desert surface. It's a pretty remarkable sight. Found only in the Sonoran Desert, tucked away in the southwest corner of the United States, this majestic tree-like cactus can live to be over 200 years old. When it comes to this species, slow and steady definitely wins the race. To give you a few examples, a 10-year-old saguaro may only be an inch and a half tall. Meanwhile, a 10-foot tall saguaro may be 40 to 50 years old and just starting to bear its first fruit. And I'm sure we have all seen those amazing pictures with the famous saguaro cactus with the extended arms and the setting sun. Well, those ancient giants had to have been at least, if not over, 100 years old before producing their first arm. That's absolutely incredible. What also is incredible is its adaptation. It has waxy skin covered with two inch long spines to protect itself. So why would a plant need such a drastic security system? Because this particular plant has incredible ability to store a massive amount of water, a prized resource in the sweltering Sonoran Desert. When fully hydrated, a mature saguaro cactus can weigh between 3,200 and 4,800 pounds. So how does it get so much water? Well, the root system lies only four to six inches under the soil surface. So when it rains, the water is quickly collected before it can evaporate back into the atmosphere. It also has a tap root that is about two and a half feet long, and that helps anchor the massive body to the ground and prevent it from falling over during a sandstorm. Now, the saguaro cactus has a very special relationship with its neighbors in the Sonoran Desert. This relationship, or symbiosis, is called mutualism because both sides or parties are benefiting from the interaction. The saguaro cactus can only be fertilized through cross-pollination, or pollen from another cactus, so it invites pollinators like bees and bats and birds to come visit with colorful flowers and sweet nectar. The pollinators get food, the cactus gets pollinated. Once the flower has been pollinated, a fruit will begin to develop, but only on the tips of the arms so that it is easily accessible by the wildlife. These juicy gems are incredibly important for the survival of many desert creatures. When saguaro fruit ripens in June, it is the hottest, driest, hardest time of year to find food. As the animals feast, they also ingest hundreds of seeds that they will then go and scatter in their own way across the desert. The animals get fed, and saguaro gets to still continue its legacy. Although the saguaro is not considered threatened or endangered, it does have strict regulations about its collecting, harvesting, and destruction. So what can you do to help these majestic giants? Grow your own. It's a tough life for young saguaro, and with them growing so slow, they make a great houseplant if given the right situation. In fact, if you head to my website, I'll have a link below that you can click on, you can get yourself your very own saguaro cactus growing kit. 
It's great for kids, adults who act like kids, plant lovers, everyone. Just go click on it, get yourself a saguaro cactus. Well everyone, thank you again for visiting me for another Fun Fact Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. And please come visit me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and if you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube. Oh, and I completely forgot. I just started a new Step Outside and Adventure newsletter. So click on the link below as well and come find out fascinating, fun, and exciting tips, tricks, and videos about the wonderful world around us. Well, until next time, this is Miss Mallory inviting you to step outside and adventure.